What was that? Some sort of hopscotchy dance move? I didn't say nothing about nothing, so just, just shut your face. Just shut it. This is your face. This is me shutting it by not moving at all. Every group's gonna have a leader, and that's me. Plus our effect, or at least I want to be. But I ain't cut out to be no leader. You know, you're kind of at the head of the group, giving all the inspiration and motivation here. And you did sort of lead a group pretty darn well back in the beginning of Disc 1. <laughs> I guess... someone read the script. I never knew that, till lately. And that's what is. And now we've got the ship music for some reason. What? What's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader. <laughs> yeah, by the uh, Council of Barrett. Exactly what? Oh yeah. I was about to ask, what um, cut Sid out to be a leader? And then you gotta remember how many crews he must have led during wartime and on several aerial missions, so, uh, yeah. Someone has actual practical experience being a leader, and not just placing bombs in energy reactors. Pain in the ass. Get it. But, for us to fight, we're gonna have High Wind, and you. High wind and high wind. Hi yo! Slap my hand. We need it to save the planet. And who's running this ship? You! And that's why you're our new leader. Ain't no one else can. And I was pushing for an anarchy to be leader. Mm. This ship's gonna save the planet, huh? Ain't that gonna be a little tough? Mmm, head scratch. Oh man, that went straight to my heart. Whoosh. I'm a man too! I'm a man! Okay, I'll do it. Everyone, follow me. Alright, now here's the first job. Operation room's waiting for you. Yeah! Incoming Sid run in three, two, one. Look at that swag. <laughs> I said swag. Woohoohoo! Now I'm controlling Sid, the last person to join the party at all. And uh, yes, here is all of Tifa's old materia. She was kind enough to give it back. But I don't think she gives back her love. No, she doesn't as if anybody else but her could use it. Yo, Sid! <laughs> and, and there's Yuffie down there. When you're ready, we're heading for the Coral Reactor. Come on, Mr. Leader, you better hurry. Yeah. I think, I think Barrett meant to say that Sid is the new main character, because being told what to do all the time, yeah, that's what a main character is. That's why Dead Space 2 is so what? Sid. <laughs> oh, Yuffie, Yuffie. I know. You're all talking to... Dying to talk to babe like me. But just leave me alone. This ship makes me... Oh. Okay, then. You were the one who called me over. You women folk. Woohoo! Oh, I know, I'm... Never gonna get used to that in the best way. Okay then, so we're looking at this stuff here. Hey there. Sid, thank you for a job well done. So first it was Cloud, job well done. Now it, and it was, uh, well actually it wasn't first Cloud, for, thank you for a job well done. Cloud has never been the high one before, so first it was Tifa, thank you for a job well done. Now it's Sid, thank you for a job well done. Uh, let's go ahead and allocate some materia. And we're just gonna throw every character in one party. So, when we come back, a team will be properly allocated. 
Alright, all allocated, and it only took me like nine minutes. <laughs> so I've decided to roll out using the Crazy Critters party. Because I can tell you one thing, the Shenra will not be expecting a toy cat and a dog wolf lion charmander charging down at their operations. Believe you me. Alright, thank you for a job well done, Mr. PHS Save Point HP Restoration Man. So, first off, we are head to Corel, and Yuffie, you can just stay over here. <laughs> You're clearly enjoying yourself! Wahaha, so evil. And... Nearly everybody is on the bridge. Vincent! Sid! I wish I had your go-get-them attitude. It appears my feelings vanish into thin air since I was in that long slumber. Cheer up, emo kid! Sid. Let's visit Cloud and Tifa from time to time. Sure thing! Hmm. Here's Materia at Corel, Fort Condor. I'm sure there was another place that had it. Where was that? Not sure, but who cares? Ha <laughs> ha Yo, Mr. Lita, get your pot ass up here. <laughs> yes, I love it when they do these crazy gestures and it's just like, Yeah, I just did that. Some animator's happy that I did this. Anyway... Yeah, shall we take off? Hey, the pilot in training leveled up. Yeah, we're taking off! Because... This is so dang unstable. Oh, look at that. In fact, let's visit Cloud and Tifa right now because there is something that I want to see if I can do properly. Maybe I couldn't do it because there was something going on. Oh, hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. All right. Yes, let's play, let's play a game of catch. Uh, can't go upstairs, can you? Aha, uh -huh, silly necromorphs. I mean, what? Alan Key, can you get it, Sid? Huh? What the hell is this? Looks like a key, but it's stuck way down inside, and I can't get it out. Wait. Oh, what the hell? That's life. Okay then, so. I have no idea what the key is supposed to do. You now it's just to talk to people. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. I know that that key is supposed to be part of unlocking something. Or maybe I'm supposed to go underneath the thing. I have no idea. <laughs> I can tell you right now that it's um, going to be something of a... <laughs> it's um, soon enough. I'm gonna have a reason that I won't be able to access this anymore. What's in here? Hello, item. PlayStation 1 era graphics, people. I got an elixir. Belly rubs! Look at the belly rubs. Got a feeling something's bad is gonna happen. It's gonna be okay. I'm alright. I lived a long, full life. I'm worried about my son and his family. Living in that far off town. I hope they're safe. I'm pretty sure he's making a reference to something else that's actually in the game, but I can't be bothered to remember right now. Wait a minute. Did you take something just now? Whoa! Oh, uh, 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 uh. Wow. Th th this is the first time someone's actually called me out on it. Yeah, I took it, old man. Hey, it's mine now, and I'll make good use of it, believe you me. <laughs> but an oddball. We'll let him use it. Hey, thanks. It'll help, Pops. That's the first time someone's actually called me out on my random looting. So, is there anything else to know? Bad Sid. 
Can't believe someone actually called me out. I don't remember that at all. And again, I probably never came back to Medial. Oh well. I guess I will see about that key sometime later. For now, let us rush off to Corel for real. Why am I hitting the OK button so rapidly? Alright then. So, to Corel, let me just briefly remember where Corel is. Everything seems to be okay in one piece. Shimmer soldiers came around saying they were gathering up all the huge materia. I think they're gonna bring it here by coal train from the Corel reactor. Corel reactor, huh? Remember when we passed by that on the way here the very first time all the way in disc one? Well, time to pay that Corel reactor a visit while swagging it up as Sid Oh, what? Oh look, it's a bomb! I'm gonna death blow you now. After you miss. <laughs> oh, you so big, huh? You so big. Bomb. Oh, why do I banter so sillyly? You're... I just love how Sid is now a speck in the background. Dust in the wind. Now we are back on the train tracks. So, they're going to use these train tracks to take the huge materia back to Corel. Because that track got pretty narrow down there. If they're going to freight it out all recklessly, I don't think that'll end up well. I honestly don't. Who am I to judge? And yes, I am still fighting out all these battles. Not gonna run away from a single one. As if that weren't implied in the uh, playthrough already. Save the game! F that jazz! And we're gonna run this way, because we are men. Oh, a man, a dog wolf, lion charmander, and... Oh look, it's actually open. You know, I would have thought that Shinra would draw a perimeter to keep the local wildlife out from ruining their operation. But anyway... You guys are... The weirdest bunch of mofos you've ever seen. Have at them, gents. These two are... Attack Squad people. So let us try stealing you from you first. To get your can't steal anything's. But let us get a sense for you. You are the Attack Squad, level 34, 1300 HP. I could do 1300 HP before I could even spell my name. <laughs> I said that wrong. Come on! You can steal it! I can imagine what these soldiers are gonna say if they live through this. Yeah! This old guy, a dog wolf, lion charmander, and a cat just started feeling us up trying to get our items, and we're just like, No! We're not you we're not giving you our items. But then they're like, Yeah we are Even if we have to go through uh Transition effect. Eight inch cannon. How about that? Now you can kindly start off and die. Hot Look at that. No effort at all. All right, let's see if I can morph you. Of course, Anarchy did. Yep, Anarchy just takes away all your HP. By the way, two things about when I was allocating my stuff. I think Tifa took her accessory with her, which is a kick in the pants if you gave her a ribbon. And we finally found something that's powerful enough to replace Anarchy's Seraph comb. How about that? 
Now they give us 600 experience points. Lame-o! It's kind of funny because you really shouldn't be using lame as an insult. But I'm pretty sure that nobody intends to use it in a particularly discriminating way. Guess we're safe for now. Except for that train coming at us! What is it? What is it? The train is very slowly getting away! Oh, JRPG characters just sitting around until the animation actually runs its course. Look like they're taken off with that huge material in that train! Did the Shenra beat us? Ha 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 ha! Nanaki, you are a funny man. What? You're not thinking of giving up? Hey, he was just asking a legitimate question. Hey, do you know who I am? Who the hell do you think I am? Ha ha ha. I'm Sid, that's who the hell I am. Wow. I completely forgot that they actually wrote that like that. Yeah! Now just let me handle it. Okay then. What's he gonna do? Come out with a little minecart or something? Hey, 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 hey! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh wow. Sid is getting his Minecraft on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is awesome. Way to go, mister. You used to driving this thing too? Don't ask me, I don't know. What did you say? Don't worry, I can handle this kind of stuff. The two levers, one on the right and one on the left. So, yes, I see, just alternate the two levers up and down, right? Judging from the enemy's speed, I'd say it's about ten minutes. We're gonna fly, hold on tight! Left lever, direct self pound off, right lever, yes! And you can't just mash them indiscriminately, you actually have to pace yourself to, uh... So the, so the game actually registers it. Alright, we're gonna jump! Yes, taking all that time to get through the animations. Erg. Let's go, and we get into one battle per train car. So let's see what we got here. We've got the Gas Doctor. Let us get a sense for you. You're level 42. You have 3,000 HP. And to steal from you, you have nothing to steal, so let us death blow you by going through our lengthy death blow animations, which will do absolutely everything to help us out here. Yeah! Oh, why do I waste time so much? We're already a minute down, you guys! We gotta go fast! Oh, more of these guys. Good. You don't have to uh, mess around trying to steal from them. Smog alert! All right, cover our ashes with wet wind in case these miss. And we did miss, so, uh, Sid, give us a little bit of that soothing light wind. And, uh, if we keep on missing with Death Blow, that's not gonna bode well for us, but we didn't miss with Death Blow. We missed with that one, which actually mattered. You so crazy, guys. And I don't want to use Limit Breaks, because, you know, they're, they're time-wasting. And the funny thing is, because I'm using the maximum battle speed, this is actually helping me out very much in this segment. Holy! What is that? That is a Wolfmeister. What the heck, man? Someone just went, went Iron Golem. It's level 43. That is 10. That was an HP. It is weak against water. What the heck do we have that's water? Aqua Lung, of course. Let's use it. And then Death Blow it. All right, let's see what happens when we aqua lung this guy. Whoosh! <laughs> Only 2,900 HP damage. That's uh, it's not efficient, guys. Got to be efficient. Got to have a plan to kill every Shinro you meet. Yes. Keep on landing those death blows, gents. We're gonna lick him yet. Oh, look who knows, big guard. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to pull out the, uh, Limit Break after all. How much HP do you have left? 641! Never mind! Good job, Manaki. Seriously, what the heck was up with that? The Wolf 
Meister. Hiya! Now we've got a thing that is gonna sense for you, Eagle Gun, and see what you have to steal. You use dual wing fire, which gets Nanaki up to his limit break. You are level 46, 17,000 HP. It is weak against lightning. What can we steal from you? We couldn't steal anything. So we are just gonna go ahead and keep on stealing. I mean, oh, you got a warrior bangle from it. Let's use Trine, because Trine is hilarious. Yes. I completely forgot where my train of thought was going. I thought, oh yeah, I was gonna make a joke about how we have a whole 10 seconds left, but uh, we have way more than 10 seconds left. And our death blows are hit and miss, literally. So we're just gonna keep on using the power of Trine. I want to work a Trine reference in here somewhere, but it is just not coming to me. So I am just gonna go ahead and continue beating this guy down with the power of Trine. Yes. Use that white wind, Sid. You have how much HP left? 2172. Is this gonna do it? Yes, it is. Well done, gentlemen. So, uh, how much time do we have left? We have 530 left. And now we are on the front of the train here. What the? You, you guys. All right, just hand over the huge materium. Shh. Whoa. Whoopsie. We got into battle with him. Duh. It didn't look like there was a whole bunch of uh, room on the train for him to get on up there. But why not? These are fancy smancy, fancy pants graphics. And now you're dead. Wind up punch to the face. I like this. Sid actually does his victory animation. And we get to watch it in overworld sprites from behind. You got guts coming after me. I'll never forget you. Even though your body is cascading down the side of the mountain now. And I guess I was wrong about that narrow path, because look at that. You got it going, but what about the brakes? What are you going to do? Kill off the engineer? What are we going to do? I know already. You, you just shut up and keep quiet. If we keep this up, we'll crash right in the North Corral. Let's see. If we alternately use the levers to accelerate... It should break if we move the levers up or down simultaneously. So, uh, left lever is up, so... Up, and triangle, down. We're gaining speed! Hey, wait. Other way, other way, other way, other way! Cuss! The other way! Just watch this time, I'll... <laughs> I'm, I'm just doing things. Whoa! No, don't! I'M JUST HITTING BUTTONS! And we're good! Sid is a god! Received key item, huge materia! da 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 Ah, uh, yeah. You sure are brave. I'm impressed. Thank you. You guys are really something. Yeah. With regards from Barrett. I probably should have brought him along, but you know how it goes. Aren't you the ones that stopped the Shinra train? The Shinra was about to destroy our lives again. To you, it may be a junkyard, but to us, it's home. To hell with Meteor. We're coal miners, ain't we? We'll dig a deep tunnel and hide from the Meteor. That's it. Hey kid, how about giving him something to these guys for a fight in the Shinra? Alright then. I shall amicably agree to comply. I got it out of the well. Isn't it an amazing rock? 
received Ultima Materia. Oh ho ho! Must have been a horrific battle. You have scars all over your body. I already talked to the Inn's owner. Today, you can rest for free. And then overnight, we explained to them how Barrett was actually the most significant person in this entire operation, and he made up with all the people of Corel. Yes. Well, man, thank you for taking us in. No, we don't want to stay again. Giving us a second opportunity to stay for the free healing we got. To pay for the free healing we got, why not? What do you have to say? Hey, what's gonna happen to the world? Because no one wants to have fun anymore now that the gold saucer is closing. The gold saucer is closing No! I can't stand it, so we're going outside! Alright, back up into the high wind, and let us go back to the interior, where we have this inspirational music! What's next? Shall we head for Fort Condor? And uh, that's it! Just idly reminding us that it's Fort Condor. And you know what? That's all we needed. Just Sid very genuinely reminding us Fort Condor was next on the itinerary. And by itinerary, I mean the next episode, because we are over the one hour mark. Sid, thank you for a job well done. I want to save the game. So next time on Let's Play uh, Fantasy VII, the Command Materia Challenge, we are going to resume our quest to take the huge Materia away from Shinra's grasp. Shinra's grasp of graspy graspness. And we're gonna do it without Cloud, and we're gonna do Cloud proud. Won't that Cloud be proud? He'll be a proud Cloud. Until then! Game out.